Hello, everybody. I'm Alberto Garofalo, Director of R&D at Horizon. And today I'm going to speak about sidechains and in particular about our model that is the coupled consensus between chains. So let's start from the need. The need is to build applications that are based on blockchain architectures but th that goes beyond cryptocurrency. And such applications want to use their own set of data and rules. But this application uh, still able to use a real coin. So uh, for, for example, for uh, meet use case business requirements or to incentivize the decentralization because if we have blockchain application, we need uh, uh, nodes and uh, node operator running them, so they have to be incentivized uh, with some coin. But without, uh, we don't want to create a new, a new coin for each new application. So, but moreover, we do not want to add complexity to the main chain, to the main blockchain, adding uh, rules and data to the main blockchain. So, what is our approach? We are building applications that are implemented as parallel blockchains with their own logic and data that are going to use a single protocol to receive and send coins from the main chain. And this protocol does not have to require that main chain no sidechain rules. And this protocol obviously must be used by all the different types of applications. So what are these? These are sidechains. So as we can see from this schema, we have many sidechains and many applications that uh, interact with the main blockchain. And we can see coins that are sent from main chain to side chain exchanged there in the blocks with the specific logic and data and then sent back to the main chain. And it's clear here that main chain cannot track side chains because uh, main chain does not know them. But side chain can track main chain. So what is this? We define a unique protocol that must be used by all the side chains to transfer coins with the main chain. And this protocol introduced two main operations. One is transferring coin from main chain to side chain, and the other operation is transferring coin from side chain to main chain. And when we speak about transfer, we speak we, we, we speak about burning coin in the sending chain and recreate them in the receiving one. So when we transfer coin from main chain to side chain, such coins are going to be burned in the sending chain, so main chain, and then they are going to be recreated and available in the side chain. And the same process for the transfer back. OK, let's see one of the. Uh, to operation, main chain to side chain transfer. A transfer is a, a regular transaction that spend some main chain UTXO and create some side chain specific output. And this output usually identifies an address in a specific side chain that is owned by the user that know the corresponding private key. And as we were saying before, such coins are not be available anymore in main chain. They are uh, burnt, and, but they can be spent in side chain by giving proof of ownership. So we can see, for example, this transaction where we have some inputs that are uh, main chain UTXOs that are spent in a regular way, and maybe two up. One is the identifier of the side chain that is receiving uh, uh, the specific side chain that is receiving such coins and the address of the user that want to receive such coins and the amount. 
and maybe some uh, um, additional output that is a UTXO that still stay in main chain. Okay, let's see now the other transfers, the sidechain to main chain, the most complicated. So, transfer to main chain are initiated in sidechain and then propagated to main chain. So, what does it mean? This means that there is a transaction in sidechain that is created in sidechain and they've somehow propagated to main chain. And uh, this transfer burns coins in sidechain and uh, this transaction uh, recreate the UTXO in, in main chain, so you have the coin back there that are spendable like any other UTXO. But as we were saying before, main chain does not keep track of the side chains. So how can main chain verify such transfer? Because in side chain, uh, you can have received the coins and then transfer the coins with the specific logic uh, and data that are not known by main chain. So how can uh, main chain verify such transfer? Okay, one of the most obvious approach is to use a trusted party that is known by main chain, but obviously this lead to centralization and we want to avoid it. So, how can we solve this? We allow main chain to validate transfer from side chain, employing a set of decentralized actors that certify the validity of such transfers. So, what are certifiers? Everyone can be a certifier by registering himself in the main chain, by staking a particular amount of coin and so this certifier is going to be known in main chain. But when we say staking a particular amount of coin means creating a specific type of transaction in main chain where a user locks some coins. And uh, from that point, such user will be known in main chain. And this user will be eligible to be a certifier. And such certifiers are subject to a rewarding scheme and a penalty strategy for their activity. But what is their activity? Their activity is to collect all the transfer requests that uh, happened in sidechain, collect them into certificates, sign such certificates, and then propagate them to main chain. Okay, such activity have to be somehow organized. And uh, how we organize it? We split the life of a sidechain in withdrawal epochs that are regular and defined time intervals where such certificates are created and signed. And each withdrawal epoch is split in two parts, that is preparation stage where all these withdrawal requests submitted uh, are submitted in such stages are going to be included in the next certificate. And the signing stage where withdrawal requests included in this epoch are aggregated in several certificates and signed. And the signature for each certificate are going to be aggregated and sent with the corresponding certificate to mention. From the next scheme, it will be more clear. So, above we have the side chain uh, with the blocks, and as we can see, there is a withdrawal epoch that is uh, split in two parts, preparation stage and signing stage. Withdrawal request, that means uh, user that want to withdraw some coin from the side chain, uh, send such withdrawal request after the preparation stage, they are collected together, they are aggregated, they are signed by the corresponding set of certifiers, and the certificate is sent to main chain. Okay, we can have a closer look to the protocol. So, 
certificates uh, are going to include a maximum amount of coins and certifiers must be selected in a deterministic way given a random value and such mechanisms should be known by both main chain and side chain and we are going to use as a randomness source main chain proof of work okay we were speaking about signature of certifiers okay here is the scheme uh, as you remember signatures mu must be verified in main chain but for scalability obviously we do not want to include all the signatures in a single certificate because it will not scale if we have thousands or hundreds of certifiers and we do not want to have hundreds or thousands of signatures so we choose a, a succinct aggregated signature scheme that is based on BLS. So uh, consider that the set of signers, as we were saying before, is, is, uh, of this certificate is known in main chain. We will be able in main chain to reconstruct the set of public keys that are associated to each certifier. These mean that we are able to reconstruct the, the aggregated public key and validate the aggregated signature sent within with the with the certificate okay we described the protocol and we never spoke about consensus adopted by sidechain why because the protocol is totally consensus agnostic <coughs> so each sidechain can adopt the desired consensus protocol and and this will not affect the cross chain transfer protocol okay but we are going uh, beyond uh, the only protocol definition and implementation we are building a full platform to develop sidechains let's consider that each sidechain is a full blockchain application and require implementation of consensus network network layer and so on and we all of us know how complex it is but in reality most of sidechain beyond specific logic and data of that application will can be based on the same implementation most of the implementation could be the same so we are going to provide an implementation that address most of these uh, aspects and so sidechain developer will focus only on the sidechain specific logic and, and features okay just to list some possible use cases uh, for example a real estate tokenization sidechain or a company incorporation registry I mean many other uh, can be list here just uh, uh, one of them maybe we can explain this uh, a real estate tokenization uh, sidechain how can it work with such protocol described before okay it is a, a full blockchain application where user can tokenize their pro properties and sell them I mean um, when we say properties for example they can be buildings and most of the application logic can be common with many other sidechains and sidechain developer we want that focus on introducing only specific logic and data and what we mean for example definition what is a building that is it will be a transaction like other kind of transaction but specific for the definition of a building or the token emission uh, procedure that uh, will require define the structure of some transaction and how it works and the logic that um, make it or sell and buy transaction that exchange uh, some token of uh, such property will have to be managed by some specific logic okay here this schema uh, show how can it work so for example above we have sidechain where user a creates a property a building 
and issue tokens there. And after we have user B that is interested in buying some token in such re uh, real estate tokenization application, so send coins to the sidechain, to such sidechain, and after user A wants to sell some of his token, create a sell transaction, and user B is interested and then create a buy transaction. In, s in such moment, tokens uh, now are owned by user B and coins are owned by user A. And then user A will uh, maybe want to withdraw uh, such coins and so create a withdrawal request transaction. And such withdrawal request will be uh, included in the next certificate and, si and, si and uh, signed such certificate in the signing stage and certificate sent to main chain and user then will have such coins available in main chain. Okay, this explain uh, a little bit uh, high level what is the protocol and how can it work in a real use case. Okay, uh, if you uh, want to have a deeper look uh, on the protocol and how it works, there is a, a white paper on our website, horizon.global, and that's all. Thanks, everybody.